An auto part must be machined to close tolerances to be acceptable to customers. Production specifications call for a maximum variance in the lengths of the parts of 0 0.0004. Suppose the sample variance for 30 parts turns out to be S squared equals 0 0.0005. Use alpha equal 0 0.05 to test whether the population variance specification is being violated. So we want to do an upper tail test here where the null hypothesis is that sigma squared is less than or equal to 0 0.0004 which would be within tolerance, and the alternative hypothesis is that sigma squared is greater than 0 0.0004, which would mean that that population variance specification is being violated. The next step is to calculate the test statistic, which is a chi-squared test statistic in this case, and plugging in the values into the formula, we end up with 36.25 as our chi-squared test statistic. And next we want to find out the, the p-value corresponding to this test statistic, which since this is an upper tail test would be the tail area to the right of 36.25. If we consult a chi-squared table and look at the row corresponding to 29 degrees of freedom, we find that the 90th percentile, which has a tail area of 0 0.10 in its upper tail is 39.087. So the test statistic 36.25 is less than this, so the tail area to the right of 36.25, which is the p-value, that must be bigger than 0 0.10, the tail area to the right of 39.087. So therefore, since the p-value is bigger than 0 0.10, it's certainly bigger than 0 0.05, our significance level, so we fail to reject the null in favour of the alternative. In other words, there's insufficient evidence that the variance specification is being violated.